Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at shading two set Venn diagrams. Actually, I think I might need some help with this. Fred, are you around somewhere? Okay. Let's see if he's gonna come. Okay, hey, you're here. Do you need me for something, Dana? I could really use some help with shading these Venn diagrams. Oh. I'm kind of forgetting a few little things. Okay, what color should so, I use? So, I think... Yellow? Yellow. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna use blue here. So I think, for this one, I think this means A union B. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is put a dot wherever A exists. Does that make sense? Makes sense, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I can follow your lead and put a dot wherever B exists. Right, because this is the B circle, right? And that's why I put dots there. Right, and this is the A circle. Now we're going to look at this symbol. I said it was union. Yeah. What else um, could that be where Or, it is? means or, right? So union to me is like uniting. Is that the right way to think about it? Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to unite A with B. So would that mean anywhere where there's at least one dot? Yes, that okay. makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead then and shade Given that this is union, yeah. I'm going to shade everywhere that there is at least one dot. And that's what you should do all the time when there's union, right? So after you've placed your dots, wherever there's at least one dot, doesn't matter if there's two dots, three dots, if it's union, you would just shade in every region with at least one dot. Okay? So that one's okay? Yeah, that's great. All right, all right. so we'll see you in a minute. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next example, you want to start this one out? Sure, I'll start this one. So, uh, same kind of idea, except this one is A intersect B. So, I'm going to start out the same way. So, create a little legend here. Um, so, we've got A, wherever A exists, I'm going to put a dot. All right, so again, wherever B exists, I'm going to also put a dot. Again, B is this whole circle. Right, and A is this whole circle. Now, really, this is the same set as that one, except for one key difference, and that is its intersect. And so, by intersect, we're, we're talking about where A exists. And where B exists at, at the, the same, same time. time. Okay, so that means we're not going to shade in the areas that have at least one dot. We're going to shade in the areas that have both dots, right? So two dots. Where both exist. Where both exist. Perfect. Okay, so my shading's not as good as yours, but you know. Looks good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. See you again. All right. All right, so getting a little bit more complicated here, I think we can do this, right? Yeah, I'll take this one. All right, so let's put our legend in here. I'm going to put a dot wherever A exists. We've done that a few times now. Now this is a little bit different. Oh, I get the hard one. So what does that mean? Can we read this? Um, so A union B prime is one way to say it. What's another way to say it? A union not B, does oh, not that work? B. Yeah, that totally makes sense to me. So, um, or actually there's this other way of saying it, which is the complement of B. But I kind of like not B. Because not B means, here's B, sorry, here's not B, and so, um, or sorry, this is B, I should say, and where not B is would be in this area. Oh, also in this area. So wherever B does not exist. Right, so notice I didn't actually put a dot in B, right, just outside of B. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay. And this symbol is union. It's the same one that we used over here. And what was so, the rule there again? Can you remind us? Yeah, uh, shade in wherever you have at least one dot. That's what union at always At least means. one dot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to shade in all this outer region. I'm going to shade in all of A. Does this make sense? Yeah, it looks good. Wherever there's at least one dot. You, so you, you went in a little bit. Oh, yikes. Ooh, big no-no. Don't okay. do that, okay, guys? Okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. Okay. Is that good enough, though? That looks good. Okay. Okay. See you in a minute. We're back for the yes. last example here. Where am I? Am I? We're doing this one now, right? Okay, so... I... You're going to do the first thing. You know what, I think the first part's going to go pretty quickly though because it's the same two sets as over here, right? So, um, so I'll do A the same way, so a dot in each of the regions representing A. Still put your legend on there, right? Yeah, i got to put my legend on there, thank you. Okay, so when we're putting this dot here, we're talking about 
the whole thing, B prime. So B prime means not B. Here's B, I'm gonna yeah. put a dot here. I'm gonna put a dot outside of B. Pretty much the same thing as before. Exactly. So I put yep. my dot slightly different spot, that's okay. Now what do we do? It's intersect symbol. Mm, yeah. The and symbol. So what did we do last time we had an and symbol? I think it was over here. And we shaded wherever the two sets existed at the same time, right? So where there's two dots. Yeah. Okay. And so this is the only region here, this sort of crescent moon shaped region is the only region that has two dots. So that <laughs> is, is where I would have to shade. Yes. Yeah, so don't mind this little stuff here. Yes, I know. Yeah, it's okay. it's so good. There you go. You get it, right? Crescent moon. Right. And so that's, that's it. Um, did you need help with anything else? I think that's it for now, but now you all need to go practice. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See you next time.